We're back on Access Carolina. When it comes to black history in Greenville, there are landmarks and locations all around us with fascinating stories. And we're about to meet the tour guide that can take us on a lot of it in a walking tour. A little bit of samples, a little sample of that today. Kendra Williams is here from Black History in Greenville Tours. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. Glad to be back. Your normal tour experience, two hours, uh, two and a half mile walk featuring some of the most prominent black history of downtown Greenville. And you started doing these tours because of your own personal interest in learning and teaching history, right? Tell us about that. That's correct. So I moved to Greenville 22 years ago and started connecting with a lot of people who've lived here for a long time and learned some really interesting history. Thought it was interesting that other people didn't know it wasn't easily accessible. So just continued yeah. to meet people and... And you've got that passion for learning, and I know you, you love teaching people, so let's get into some of those landmarks. Absolutely. Uh, there's a sculpture to commemorate Josh White, a Greenville-born musician. Tell us about Josh White. This is at the corner of um, Hammond Street and Falls Parkway, right? That's right. It's right next to the Hampton Inn Hotel. Beautiful panel outside commemorating this musician, activist, writer. Uh, he was from Greenville. He started guiding musicians as a young child because he was orphaned. Um, uh, and he went on to guide musicians, learn from them, became a musician himself, and is influential go. across genres. Yeah, and, and then another spot. So a lot of people might walk by there. They don't even know the history. Another one, um, the Allen Temple AME Church. Obviously, we know the church. It's built in 1929 at the Green Avenue and South Markley Street intersection. A lot of interesting uh, history there. Yes, so it's not the original building from when the church was chartered, but the original bell, which is beautiful. Okay. So Greenville has its own historic bell. Most people don't know. Okay, so you look <laughs> for that bell there. Is that a place that you walk past or we're, we're kind of getting throughout the area? It is, it okay. is. Very good. Um, another landmark that you might take somebody on a tour through is the um, historical markers. These are about the lynching of Willie Earl and the outrage that followed that actually led to new federal civil rights policies. That's right. It was actually the biggest story of Time Magazine. Uh, they sent someone in. Can you imagine little old Greenville having that? Wow. And it became, uh, the trial was, the lynching was something that got on the FBI notice. Wow. For investigation. And and it, it was a big event in history right here that, that again, people won't know sometimes if they're not on the tour and, and you have uh, compiled all this information. Exactly. Really fascinating stuff. Um, and then the, another one is the Working Benevolent Temple and Professional Building. We see this building on East Broad Street. Uh, yes. What's its history? The history is it was paid for and built by this Working Benevol Benevolent Coalition mm -hmm. who was responsible for the wellness of the African American community. So it was a place where professionals could go and house their businesses and people could safely go and get the services where they would be treated safely. Okay, so you had doctors, lawyers, dentists, all African American, the, the newspaper there, and the first black mortuary in Greenville. That's so correct. a lot happened in that building. A and lot. then the new Liberty Theater, this opened in 1919. This was a vaudeville and movie theater for African American audiences, operated that way till it closed in 1960? That's right. Right now it's the site of a parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> so you, and there used to be a street that led up to the there Liberty Theater. There you are. And so it was, if they were great and they were attracting to a African American community, that is where they performed. That it's where Peg spot. Leg Bates was actually discovered. Very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. learned about him in a, in a previous segment with you. And then, yes. you know, overall, you you love to teach and and you love to, to fill everybody in on this history. What do you hope people gain from the tour? And tell me, maybe what kinds of reactions do you get? This is meaningful stuff. What do they tell you after the tour ends? They are. Many people who have lived here and have walked past these things and had no idea the what thing. the context of it was. So what I want to share is that um, I want people to get that black history is Greenville history is American history. Yeah. And it's all right here. And that no matter what you're walking past, there is some person of color, black history, yep. who's involved with it. And if you don't see it, where is it? Because it's there. Yeah, yeah, and, and you're great at finding it all. We want to put your information on screen now. Anybody who wants the whole tour can, can book it through Eventbrite. We're linking that to our Access Carolina website, accesscarolina.com. But, uh, you know, so many different landmarks along the way. And uh, meteorologist Catherine Noel joining us. And if you're going to go on any kind of walking tour, obviously, you want it to be some sunshine involved. And Probably. That, right? that would be good. Yeah. However. <laughs> you look at me like, oh, but can, can you, you fix bring it? it? Yeah. <laughs> no, what can you do about that? I know.